Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Yeah, I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore yesterday because I had a coat on the whole entire day it feels like. And so it never got dirty. So yeah, I'm wearing it again because it's super comfy. You wear it dirty. Well, let's talk to the man who wears it. The teenager thing, if you wear it as dirty. Yeah, the teenager thing. Gabby wears it for three seconds three and then hours, throws it in the throw laundry. laundry. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, Tim and I are headed out to do groceries. All the Easter stuff we've been doing and all the other stuff that we had to get done before lockdown. Uh, it's done. We just have to get groceries now. I have a turkey. I have a ham. We're just having a small dinner, just the four of us. But we're still going to do it up. We're going to live it up and eat like people. Eat like regular people on Easter. Even though we're not having any friends or any family or any life. We like to get our shopping done super early in the morning so that we can get home and rest. Just joking. We never rest. Sam, do we ever rest? Much to his dismay because he loves to rest. But I'm proud of him. He takes care of the horses. How are the horses today? Good. Very good. That's awesome. Did you put... Oh, that's the one thing I forgot to do. The one thing he forgot was to put Willow's muzzle on. She needs that thing. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll do it today. So this is it, you guys. This is all the food for a meal that nobody's coming to. It just seems like such a waste. It seems like such a waste to cook a big meal. Literally hate. Like, I just can't imagine having a big meal for nobody. We didn't have Easter last year. What did we do last year? I don't even think we cooked a meal last year. No, we still cooked a meal, honey. Oh, yeah, we did. You know why? There's somebody in our family that can't go without having a traditional meal on a holiday. Guess who it is? Do you know who it is, Sam? Take a wild guess. I already know who it is. Take a wild guess. Like, yeah, yeah it's Gabby. She's like, Mom, we have to have turkey. We have to have a ham. Like, so I'm cooking a turkey and a ham for four people. Yeah, that's, that's just insanity if you ask me. But I can freeze it after it's cooked and we can have leftovers or we can make turkey soup or we can make... Turkey sandwiches. Ah, uh, we can use the ham in, in omelets. Like, there's stuff to get around it. But yeah, I'm so tired of this. But like I said yesterday, there's a lot worse going on in the world than missing your family and making a big meal for nothing. So Sam and I are talking about breeches. You guys know that Gabby likes one specific, she likes two different kinds of breeches, but there's only one we can get in our area. So those are our favorite kind of breeches right now. And so Sam and I are talking about them and I'm like, you know, they have a color that she doesn't have that she's really excited about. It's black with rose gold. We found out about it the other day. She wants those. And he's like, oh, well, I'll just buy those for her. And I'm like, okay, that'd be great. Cause usually it's me that buys that stuff. And I'm like, yeah, you could give it to her birth for her birthday, like just as a extra little thing. And he's like, yeah, okay, because we already bought her a watch for her birthday. And I'm like, except for that $300 is kind of like not a little thing. <laughs> His reaction, I wish you hadn't got it on camera. He's like, $300? Like, is there not a sale or like a percentage off? Like, is that how much we pay for breeches? Can I rip it and ask for a discount? <laughs> Can we rip it and ask for a discount? Yeah, like horseback riding stuff is uh, crazy expensive for no reason like but yeah i wish i had got his ex his expression on camera because he was shook okay so we are home and we are getting ready to go outside and do something watch this stay stay <laughs> might be cheating because she wants to go outside oh she's listening good girl oh Aww. A couple of days ago, we were outside with the dogs and they were running up to the house and Daisy ran faster than Molly and that's never happened before. And it made and it made me wonder which one of our puppies is the fastest. So we're gonna figure this out today. We're gonna go down to the barn, to the arena, and we're gonna see who runs faster. Who do you think's gonna run faster? Molly. Daisy. Who do you think's gonna run faster? Daisy. Daisy. Who do you think's gonna run faster? Molly. Molly. I think that if we can get Daisy to stay focused and understand what we want, she'll be faster. But Molly is so driven that she pays attention really closely, so she might be faster just because she's faster out of the from the start. But we're gonna see. I Let's think Daisy might get distracted. Who do you think is gonna be faster? Stop the video and comment below. Penny's like, I'm watching. It should be me out there. Should be you and me out here, Penny. All right. Uh oh. Get over here, puppy. Oh. Uh, Penny's like, I want to do it. <laughs> Come on. Good girl. Hopefully you guys can hear the wind is really bad out here. But we're going to do a couple of different rounds. So 
Sam's, so for the first round, Sam's gonna hold the puppies and the girls are gonna stand down there at the other end of the arena and they're gonna call the puppies and we're gonna see who's the fastest. So that's round one. You ready? You're tiring out your dog. Give your dog to dad. All right, so we got Gabby here. Wait, we got Sophie here. You guys get them hyped up. On your... Gabby, no toys. No toys. On your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> that was fast. All right. That, let's try that one more time. And I'm trying to hold this dog because this dog is just going to cause trouble. So fast. Okay, so this time the girls are going all the way back because Daisy couldn't put the brakes on. Sit. On your mark, get set, go! So, I think that answers that question. We'll try to, we'll revisit this again, but who do you think is the fastest puppy? <laughs> Molly. Go ahead, Ruby. <laughs> so, the fastest puppy still is Little Miss. Molly, little Miss Molly is still the fastest, but Daisy's got longer legs and I swear it's gonna happen. It's coming, she's gonna be faster one day. Oh my goodness, you guys been pooping inside. What the heck? All right, so unfortunately the day has come. The day has came like a month ago. I don't know if you guys can tell, but she didn't get too chubby this winter. And she got a little bit chubby this winter, but not too bad, but her pony, who's the boss of the herd, just eats however much she wants. Pushes everybody off. Well, hello. How's your bump? So, we have to fix it, you guys. Like, our vet is coming soon to do our girls' vaccinations. He's gonna take one look at this pony and be like, this cannot happen. Like, she's old, plus she's chubby. Not a winning combination. Can it, her mouth get all the way to the bottom so she can eat? Mm -hmm. Right, Willow, this is new for you. We're doing this because we love you. I got your gloves. Yeah, my grooming gloves. Keep we love hair off. <laughs> Keep hair off. She seems like she maybe has had this before. Come here. Do you have a, st a stone in your foot? That other foot kind of looks. Here, come here. I want to check you. Come here, little Miss Muffet. show you guys how Penny and I come in when I have to close the door. Okay, just wait. If I can do it. Just wait. Whoa, wait. Okay. Usually she walks. Usually she walks ahead of me and stands there and waits until I close the door every single time. Like she's so good at that. I tell her to come on. She's like, yeah. Okay, no problem. Oh, you're okay. Those are just shavings. Just shavings. Go ahead. Over you get there. That's a girl. It is time to groom these girls and get them all shed out. Penny looks like she's still moving sore. If you're new, if you haven't watched, she has like a kick. That doesn't seem like it's really there anymore. It was here. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. We're gonna figure it out, but anyway, she's having a little bit of time off just to read, just to um, fix that. Right, Penny Pickle? And you're gonna get shed out? Gracie, you're the cutest pony. All of our fairs and stuff have been canceled, so it's not like we can do anything like that, any little in-hand shows and stuff, but your time is coming, Gracie girl.
are you doing? Come on, Finn. What are you doing? Come on. Oh, girl. <laughs> You're so slow. Why are you so slow? Come on. Get your feet out. Come on. Come on. Are you thinking that you're going to go back in? What the heck? Come on, Penny Pickle. You know how sometimes if I move my hands too fast, she like shies away her head? You know how sometimes people smack their horse if they put their hand up and they get in their space? I feel like that's probably why she does that because she's super curious little horse. See, like that. She's a super curious horse. So I could see that have having happened before. Right, girlies. Looking for my mother's eyes as I'm staying close to the mirror. A lock of I'm not gonna lie it's a sad day when the pony has to wear this it's sad I don't know if she knows how to eat with it yet I can see how these could be a colic risk because she'll have to learn how to drink with it and how to eat with it I just want to make sure it's okay feels like it's okay can yeah she can eat let's see let's see if I can give her a treat through there oh she got it <laughs> I think it'll work Gracie's like, do not put that on me. Yeah, I think Penny's still a little sore. One thing is for sure, Penny is in a grouchy, grouchy mood. The girls have gone up to the house. They clean the arena, the poop out of the arena, so I have to clean. So I told them I'll clean the barn after we just groomed their ponies. If you're religious, then you might be like us and eat fish on Fridays. Well, we don't actually do it, even though we're supposed to, but every um, Good Friday, we always eat fish. It's something that we've always stuck to. And last night Sam bought fish for us for supper. And he's getting older and he's getting more forgetful. And he always used to be like this man who was like the king of the world to me. Like he never made mistakes. It was always me making mistakes and him fixing my mistakes. And now suddenly like he sometimes makes mistakes and I love it because it always makes me laugh hysterically. Then he messed up and then he always laughs hysterically that he messed up. So last night I was cooking the fish that he bought and it was chicken, it was chicken. So we did not have fish last night. So he, so when we were out shopping today, he bought fish and we're having Good Friday's fish tonight on Saturday. Yeah, that's what happens when you get older, things change and you just can't remember. Just in case somebody's wondering, my plan for Willow's um, little, mask thing i'm gonna feed her in the morning and then after she's done i'm gonna take it like after i'm gonna feed her in the morning and after she's had what she should have then i'm going to take it or then i'm going to put the muzzle on and then the same in the afternoon i'll give her her food still but i'll put the muzzle on after she has an appropriate amount that way she's not able to like just keep eating all the time. She's struggling. She's out there. Time changes everything and everything will change in time. Love changes every heart and any heart can change you. Don't you know that you're beautiful?